Feels good to be a Whovian. Look at that. The complete DV... Wait a minute. With all these gaps in my collection. This is the, this is the complete Region 1 DVD line of Doctor Who. But something's wrong. What? All these huge gaps. What happened? Well, folks, fellow Region 1 uh, land fans, I, uh, I hate for this edition of Timey Wimey Tuesday, the long-awaited return of Timey Wimey Tuesday, to be me being the bearer of bad news. But it seems that uh, over the past few months, several more titles in the Region 1 DVD line have dropped out of print. Yes. Now, the last time we had a big wave of titles go out of print was in 2013, inexplicably during the 50th anniversary year, when, you know, you would think the majority of people would be wanting to buy lots of Doctor Who DVDs of, you know, BBC video in their infinite wisdom thought, yeah, let's let's put a whole bunch of them out of print, you know, with, you know, not, not some significant titles or anything, just stuff like The War Games, you know, like arguably one of the most important 60s stories ever. Let's put that one out of print. Good job, guys. Good thinking. Because, you know, when you're talking about all that it means to be to be a Time Lord, you sure as heck don't want the story that introduced the Time Lords to be readily available during the 50th anniversary year when everybody's going to want to buy it. That, that would just be silly. That's crazy talk. You know, what, what am I thinking? Who am I? You know, uh, clearly this was a corporate decision from on high that made a lot of sense when looking at the bottom line. Yeah, anyway, rant over. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. It, it sucks. Um, especially because I know there's a lot of you who are currently trying to collect the classic series. I mean, I just finished the Disambiguation videos about a year ago. Um, thinking like, well, okay, there's only a handful that are out of print. You know, they're still findable for somewhat reasonable prices. Um, I got really lucky when I was collecting them because a lot of the ones that went out of print in that initial wave were ones that I already had or that were still available in other places. Um, I, I was very fortunate that I had a, a, a viewer who, uh, who very graciously helped out and helped me to find a bunch of those titles uh, and, and was able to find them just for regular price at the time. This is three years ago. This isn't going to happen now if you're wondering. but. Uh, this was three years ago, and he, he found a bunch of them and sent them my way, and then the rest I just kind of tracked down on my own. Uh, but I got really lucky. Like, for example, one, uh, what is it here? Where is it? Yeah, this one. The Two Doctors, probably one of the most expensive out-of-print titles. This typically goes for about $150 to $300 online, which is ridiculous. Um, now, this was dropped out of print in the UK as well. The original release and then it was re-released without the Jim will fix it segment just because of all of the you know uh, stuff shall we say that went on with uh, uh, with Jim what's his face I don't know why I'm blanking on his name anyway the child molester guy who was a children's TV host yeah well Jim will fix it was one of his uh, shows and uh, well anyway the two doctors was re-released in the UK with that segment removed just because of all the controversy surrounding him but um, <clears throat> as for region one lands the original release went out of print and there's no re-release in sight now why why are all these titles going out of print well there's some speculation about that but uh, let's do the titles and then we'll talk about it today on timey wimey Tuesday on the multimedia chronicles Welcome back. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, it, it, it definitely sucks. Um, I've been posting on the Facebook page about this for a little while now, uh, posting lists of the titles that are going out of print, uh, along with Amazon links, of course, because, you know, anything I can do to 
to help you guys find them or at least get a, a start on them. Uh, I certainly appreciate it when you use my links because it does go right back into the show. I actually don't even get paid in money. I get paid in Amazon gift certificates. So that allows me to pick up stuff from Amazon that I can then review. So please use my links. It is most appreciated. It costs you no more or less than it would normally. You're just helping me out because. There's a lot of titles that have gone out of print. They're like darn near 30. I think there's about 30 or so. Um, so what I did just to sort of show you is I've yanked them off the shelf, obviously, and we'll take a look at which ones um, are now super hard to find. <sighs> now, the big question, of course, is why? Why are they getting rid of them? I mean, we've already talked about the fact that you can't really put them on Blu-ray unless you do a standard def Blu-ray, obviously. Um, there's been no announcements of re-releases or anything like that. Uh, there's fan speculation is running wild, of course. A lot of fans are saying, well, maybe they're going to put out season sets or doctor sets or something like that of just all the existing stories in collections, which would be awesome if they did that. I would totally double dip on that just for, you know, to support the line and, you know, on the off chance of maybe some additional extras and just to have sort of a nice, compact, convenient set to watch. I would not get rid of these because these are freaking awesome, but... Uh, you know, uh, and there's bound to be some extras that they wouldn't port over in a case like that. But, uh, but th th I mean, that's just speculation. Nobody knows for sure. I mean, all we know for sure is BBC Video has said that the Region 1, uh, the, these particular Region 1 DVD titles are on moratorium, which in English means they're dead. <laughs> Meaning, once existing stock is depleted, there will be no more printed. They are done. They are out of print. So get them while you can. Um, by the way, speaking of Amazon links, in the description you will find a list, a comprehensive list, current as of the date of this video. There may be more titles that show up uh, on the list later, but um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the list updated per se, but it'll give you a general sense. Um, th there's been, uh, this initially started in, in January, there was like a wave of them that went out of print, and then since then, more and more have been revealed to actually be out of print. Uh, one of my main sources on this is a site called Who North America, um, or whona.com, and uh, they, they, they've been a distributor of Region 1 titles of Doctor Who and other British science fiction for ages, like since the days of VHS. And uh, I don't usually order from them because shipping to Canada from them is hella expensive and it's actually cheaper for me to order from Amazon. But as an information resource, they have a forum there and one of them was, uh, one of the threads uh, over the past few months was about the DVDs going out of print. So uh, I've been kind of keeping tabs on that and, um, you know, and they know, I mean, they know immediately because they go to reorder something. It's like, oh, you can't, it's out of print. We don't have any left. It's like, well, that's that then. So, which titles are out of print? Uh, well, we'll get to that in just a second. The other speculation as to why they're doing it. Um, that there was something else that happened in recent months. BBC actually closed their direct mail order uh, site. I can't remember what it was called now. It was like BBC Shop or something. But closed that down for good. They had a big fire sale on uh, all existing stock of DVDs and Blu-rays. And closed it down. Now, you can still get... BBC titles through, uh, you know, retailers like Amazon and obviously from eBay and stuff like that and Walmart.com and, and what have you, wherever you prefer to shop online. Um, <clears throat> but you can't get them directly from the BBC shop anymore because they have closed down their online distribution. And the reason they gave was that uh, uh, plain and simple physical media sales are down and they want to focus more on their streaming service. Now, Okay, so now that leads to the other speculation, is that they're discontinuing the DVD line to push their streaming service, because all the Doctor Whos will be available there, old and new. Uh, but here's the kicker. You remember my rant about the Simpsons DVDs being discontinued, uh, I don't know, about a year ago? And how one of the big reasons they cited as, uh, you know, doing that was because of declining sales, and they really wanted to push Simpsons World which was their streaming service, and all the episodes would be available there. Uh, however, not the extras. That, that's one thing that pissed off fans. is like uh, the Simpsons DVDs have wonderful extras, and by relegating it strictly to the streaming service, now we don't have any of those extras anymore. No commentaries, no deleted scenes, nothing. There's basically maybe a smattering of extra content just kind of thrown in, but, but it's basically just episodes only. Uh... Fans like the DVDs because of the deluxe packaging, because of the extras, because, you know, of being able to collect them and have them on their shelf, you know. 
Um, and the exact same thing applies to Doctor Who. Now, the big thing with Simpsons World is it was only available in the U.S. Yeah, because, you know, there's no fans of the Simpsons outside of the U.S. It's fucking bullshit. So the same thing's happening with Doctor Who, apparently, folks. Yeah, because guess what? The BBC streaming service that they're discontinuing all the DVDs to push is only available in the UK. Like, it's not like this is a worldwide franchise or anything. It's not like Doctor Who isn't more popular than it's ever been in its entire lifespan right now or anything all over the freaking world. No. Let's just make it available in the UK only. So great if you're in the UK and you want to shell out for their streaming service... But what about DVD collectors? That leaves them out in the cold. Now, New Who, like the new Doctor Who series, is still getting DVD and Blu-ray releases for the time being. Hopefully that continues. Um, but it's leaving fans of the classic series out in the cold. I mean, the classic series is what made Doctor Who what it is. I will always be more of a classic series fan than a new series fan. I love them both. I enjoy them both. I watch them both over and over again. But if I had to choose which collection I was going to take to a desert island with me, it would be the classic series all the way. Hands down. Like, no contest. Like, I wouldn't even have to think about it. As soon as you begin to ask the question and I pick up on what you're about to say, I would say classic series. You know, that's just the way it goes. Look at, look at my shirt. Yeah, I don't have any New Who logo shirts yet. I'll get some eventually. But uh, right now, this is it. This is my Doctor Who shirt. You've seen it in every Doctor Who video I've ever done. Uh... So that's the speculation, either that they're discontinuing the DVDs to put out uh, collections of some kind, but there's been no official word that's strictly rumor mill territory. Don't count on that happening, because we have not heard anything official. The only official thing we've heard is that the DVDs are being put on moratorium. Um, and the other only official thing we've heard is that all the episodes will be available on the BBC streaming service only in the UK geo-blocked up the yin-yang. So if you're outside the UK, you're screwed. So basically the only way you can get the show in your collection right now is to track down the DVDs. Now there's still a good chunk of them that aren't out of print, but an ever-growing list that are. Uh, the speculation is that the entire line is going out of print and that this is this is the death knell for the DVD line, which is it's just as baffling as when they did it for the 50th anniversary year. And they put a bunch out, and they put out Terror of the Zygons, which was the last, you know, the last complete story that needed to be put out. Um, it's like history's repeating itself here. Because uh, we have the Underwater Menace, which was just released in the UK a few months ago. It's just about to come out here this month. Um, which is the last, the last two surviving episodes being released in official form, remastered. The last batch of extras that the restoration team did. I mean, it's great. I'm really looking forward to it. Apparently, really crummy recreations of the two missing episodes, but at least you get the full audio tracks of those, so you, you, you still get the full story um, and, you know, stills and whatnot. But um, the main thing is to have those two complete episodes and the last batch of extras. Uh, so here they are. They're completing the line at the same time that they've dropped about a third of it out of print. Well, maybe not a third, maybe a quarter, maybe a quarter of it out of print. All right, no more ranting. So much for rant being over in the intro, eh? Uh, let's take a look at which ones are out of print. So, so let's start with uh, let's start with the uh, first Doctor here. So the first Doctor, we have story number seven, the Sensorites. Stories eleven and twelve, the Rescue and the Romans. Story thirteen, the Web Planet. Story seventeen, the Time Meddler. Seeing those okay? Yeah, all right. And story 25, The Gunfighters. Now, Web Planet and Gunfighters, some of you may not be too broken up about because they're not considered some of the better stories, but stuff like The Rescue and the Romans and The Time Meddler, come on, those are fan favorites right there. I love The Romans especially. It's just, just a hoot. Uh, second Doctor. Now, this one is really sad. We have The Invasion. Such a great set. Find this if you can, you know, good, get a deal on it. Um, eight, eight part epic Cyberman story. The two missing episodes animated. Lots of, lots of extras on there. It's just a great, great set. And of course, out of print now. Uh, then we have the Crotons, which the cast always called the Croutons <laughs> when they were making it, apparently. So that one's out of print. 
Again, not a huge fan favorite, so probably no broken hearts there. But this one, as I showed in the intro, this is just depressing. The War Games. The War Games is out of print now. Another beautiful set. Very, very important story in the history of the series. It introduces the freaking Time Lords. It's the first time we actually find out about the Doctor's origins. The first time ever. That is a big deal that that's out of print. I knew we were in trouble when when that one went out of print. All right, so carrying on here. Third Doctor. Third Doctor Adventures. This is just going to break your heart. Terror of the Otons. Or Autons, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, out of print. Introduction of the Master. Return of the Autons. It's... I mean, it's just a great story. One of the most controversial stories from the early 70s era. Great stuff. Out of print. And then we have Colony in Space. Another, uh, another fun story with the Master. The Time Monster. Another fun story with the Master. Also one of the few times we got a redesign of the TARDIS. The Monster of Peladon. Return to Peladon. Early Sarah Jane Smith adventure. And, you know, not like this is significant or anything... Planet of the Spiders, the final adventure of the Third Doctor. Yep, well, you can't see how he regenerates now, because this is out of print. <sighs> I knew we were in trouble, and the line was in trouble, when Fourth Doctor stories started to go out of print. Because the last time that uh, we had a wave of titles go, go OOP, uh, all the Fourth Doctor titles stayed in print. Because, you know, I mean, that makes sense. He's easily the most popular and the most recognized uh, Doctor from the classic era. And that's fine. I understand that. But when I started to see some of these go out of print, I knew we were in trouble. Especially when I saw which stories went out of print. Pyramids of Mars. One that a lot of fans consider to be one of the greatest stories of the classic era. Period. And it is. It's a great one. It's it's a cracker. But um, what can I tell you? It's out of print. This was the one that really shocked me, though. I could not believe that this, this was the first fourth Doctor story to be announced as being out of print. City of Death. Yeah. Another... Another one that fans consider one of the all-time greats of the classic era. I think this is one of the one of the all-time fan favorite Fourth Doctor stories, and uh, understandable too. Written by Douglas Adams, uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's a deluxe edition, two discs, lots of extras. Yeah, and then finally we have the Horns of Nymon, which uh, fans are kind of split on. I've always liked it, but uh, some fans don't care for it. Anyway, that one's out of print too. So so far, only three Fourth Doctor stories. Get this one while you can. Seriously, and this one. These two are must-haves for your collection. I mean, they are just fantastic, and you need to have them. All right, now most of these were out of print before. Uh, fifth, Sixth, and Seventh Doctor stories. So let's take a look at the Fifth Doctor. We have Black Orchid. Earthshock. Great Cyberman story. Time Flight, which continues on directly from Earthshock. Most fans aren't big fans of this, but uh, it's kind of silly. But uh, it's fun, and I mean, the opening scene, which is kind of a coda to Earthshock, is, is quite nice and touching. Arc of Infinity. Now, this one may not be out of print. Who North America thinks it may be about to go out of print? Because he said somebody went and bought all their stock of it. Uh, so somebody's planning to scalp them. So grab them while you can. I did check on Amazon uh, just uh, last night, and it does appear to still be available fairly cheap. So I'd say grab it while you can. Don't give that scalper the satisfaction. And then uh, we have The Awakening. It's pretty cool. Some cool model work in that one. Uh, Frontios. You get to see uh, Turlo losing his mind in this one. And finally, the second last uh, Fifth Doctor story, Planet of Fire. So... By the way, Planet of Fire, I think I mentioned the disambiguation. There's an extra that we did not get on the Region 1 set for some reason. I think some kind of music clearance issue. Uh, so track down the Region 2 one if you want to be properly complete with that. Uh, next up, uh, Sixth Doctor. Sixth Doctor stories. We have Attack of the Cyberman. Cybermen. Sorry, there's more than one of them. Um, I was kind of surprised by this one too. I mean, this is a fairly well-regarded Sixth Doctor story. Mark of the Rani. This has been out of print for a while. This was part of the first wave. I'm running out of space here. I'm actually running out of space. Wow, that's how many there are. 
and then the two doctors, which I mentioned in the intro. Um, I also mentioned I was lucky to get this because when I first uh, decided in 2013 that I was going to start collecting the DVDs again, uh, the first w batch that I got was all the multi-doctor stories. So I just happened to grab this one as a part of it. So I grabbed the three doctors, the five doctors, and the two doctors just to have those all together because they're kind of special. And uh, literally a month after I bought this, it went out of print. And I looked online I'm like, why is this going for so much? And then I found out that there was a whole bunch of titles that had gone out of print. Um, no, I will never sell this because I treasure it. Um, at the time, fans were speculating that maybe they'd found the film footage. Cause there's a lot of 16mm uh, film footage in this because they filmed a lot of it on location in Spain. Um, so the speculation was they dropped it out of print to do a remaster with the newly discovered film prints. Uh, that never made it out of rumor territory, so I don't think they did find the film prints. Um, and it seems that the only reason it was dropped out of print originally was to remove that Jim will fix it segment and uh, go from there. All right, last but certainly not least, Seventh Doctor. The Seventh Doctor's era has really been decimated. Five of his 12 stories are out of print. Uh, we have Dragonfire, Introduction of Ace, Return of Sabalom Glitz. We have the Happiness Patrol, which, you know, Another one that fans are divided on. I like it. Some fans don't. I, I just love love the design of the Candyman and just what a useless villain he is. <laughs> I think he's hilarious. And then three stories from the last season. Three of the four stories from the last season of the classic series. We have Battlefields, which is uh, which is one I actually had to shell out a little extra for because it was the last one I needed. Uh, this one I got for fifty bucks originally. Um, just got really lucky there because it was already going for more than that. Uh, I mean, if you keep your eye on Amazon, you will see deals apparent, uh, from time to time. Some third-party sellers aren't insane assholes who charge an arm and a leg for out-of-print titles. They'll charge a little bit more, obviously, because they want to make a profit. makes sense, but not uh, charge through the nose. And then we have Ghost Light, uh, one that I've always enjoyed. Again, fans are kind of divided on it. And then The Curse of Fenric, one that uh, most fans are, are pretty unanimous about, that this was one of the all-time greats, especially from the Seventh Doctor's era. <sighs> Beautiful two-disc set, two different cuts of the story. Uh, just great stuff. So there you go. That is everything. So what do we got? We've got three rows of four here, so that's 12. We've got four rows of four here, so that's 16. So that's 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 titles out of print. And it seems like every month there's at least another, you know, one or two that are added to the list. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm just being the messenger here and giving you the heads up because I know a lot of you have been uh, working on collecting the classic series for a while and uh, wanting to fill in the gaps in your collection. So um, basically, I'm just here to say these are the ones that are currently out of print. So if you find a deal on these ones, uh, I don't know if you're going by doctor or just picking some favorites first. If any of your favorites or whatever are in this batch or you know or if you're going by a doctor and you're not up to some of these yet i'd say you know make an exception for those if you find them for you know a somewhat reasonable price i mean you, you will pay a premium on them there is no question you will not find them for regular price period like maybe one or two of them occasionally but don't expect to find those prices for all of them uh, as someone who's been a collector for literally decades, I can tell you from experience when something goes out of print, the scalpers go ape shit. So you will be paying more for these titles if you choose to add them to your collection. Um, but as I say, this is just basically a heads up to let you know that uh, that you know there are title there are a huge chunk of titles going out of print, and this is literally about a quarter of the line right here. Um, there's about 120 or so. There's like 126 titles, I think. All right, so in the description, you will find Amazon links to every single one of these. And then you'll also find uh, a list, a comprehensive list of every single Region 1 release ever. I actually went through Amazon's entire catalog and found them all, put them all in order, organized them by doctor. Now that list is too huge to include in the description, so I've included a link to the text file uh, as a direct d download link from my Dropbox. So check that out. Uh, it'll save you some time searching them out. Um, and I mean, it gives you a comprehensive list, obviously. And as I mentioned, you'll be helping out the show a little bit just by using my Amazon links. So appreciate that. 
Alrighty, so uh, I may do another Timey Wimey Tuesday video later just because this is kind of the epic return and I want to do something special for you guys. I don't want this to be just the week of gloom and doom where uh, you, you have this out of print video uh, vi about the vi DVDs video. Well, you know what I mean, out of print DVDs video uh, to, to make you depressed throughout the week. So I'll try to do a nicer, happier Timey Wimey Tuesday a little later today, maybe tonight. And, uh, and we'll have a nice double whammy of Doctor Who goodness. Alrighty, that is it for this, this edition of Timey Wimey Tuesday. I would say hope you enjoyed, but it was all bad news, so I'm terribly sorry. I'm just trying to help out and be a good Whovian and help out my fellow Region 1 fans. Um, yeah, so thank you uh, very much to my Patreon sponsors. Really appreciate the support. Big thanks to Kyle Pellegree, who is still my highest level sponsor. Really, really appreciate it, dude. And, uh, yeah, please do consider becoming a Patreon sponsor and uh, helping out the show because it all goes right back into the show and allows me to do this stuff more often for you. So thank you kindly. Um, yeah, that is it from me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara. <laughs>